Hi everyone, here's our math challenge for today. Can you solve these two problems in five seconds? In the first problem, we talk about the height of two poles being five units and three units respectively. From the top of the first pole, we connect a straight wire to the foot of the second pole. And from the top of the second pole, we connect it to the foot of the first pole. And from the point of intersection of the two wires, we draw this green line that is perpendicular to the ground, and we want to find the height of this green line. And the second problem, this is a work problem where a certain job can be done by Hector in five hours, and Reagan can do the same job in three hours working alone independently. Now, if both of them decided to work together, how long will it take for both of them to finish the same job working together? Now, you can pause the video and see if you can find a strategy to solve these two problems in five seconds each. Now, let's solve this problem together. Don't you know that these two different problems have the same solutions? And let me show you the five-second solution for the first problem. Here is the solution. H is equal to 15 over 8. And for the second problem, the time is also equal to 15 over 8. If you have a calculator, you can divide 15 over 8 to be 1.875 units. But without calculators, the answer for both of them are 15 over 8. And you can compute them in five seconds. You simply have to multiply 5 times 3 to get 15, add 5 plus 3 to get 8. The same for the second problem. Now the question is, why does these two problems have the same solution and why do we need to multiply in order to get the numerator and add in order to get the denominator? Let me show you the mathematics behind this. Why does this method works? And why is it that these two problems, one is about finding the height and the other is about finding the length of time, both have the same solutions? Well, in mathematics, that is oftentimes the case. Sometimes an obscure game theory can be used in order to model modern economic problems. Now, going back to our problem, why does this method work? Let's begin with the first problem. Let's construct a right triangle. The height of the triangle is five units representing a pole that is perpendicular to the ground. This hypotenuse represents the wire that we used in order to support the pole. Then let's construct a second pole with a height of five units. And let's also support this pole by this wire. And at the point of intersection of the two wires, we have this green line and we would like to find the height of this green line. In order to find the length of H here, we need to use similar triangles. So let's assign a variable to represent the distance from the first pole to the green line, and let's call it x, and the distance from the green line to the second pole as the variable y. Then let's highlight the first right triangle and this other right triangle that is similar to the first blue triangle. What can we say about these two triangles, the light blue and the dark blue right triangles? Well, both of them are right triangles. They share the same angle here, and therefore their base angles here are the same. And this angle here can be shown to be equal to this angle because these two sides are parallel, and this hypotenuse cuts the two parallel lines, resulting to these two angles to be corresponding angles on the same side of the transversal, and therefore they are congruent. So let's analyze these two similar triangles. Here are their dimensions. The base is x plus y, the height is a. For the smaller right triangle, the height is h, and the base is y. When two triangles are similar, the ratio of their sides are proportional, and therefore, the ratio of the base of the bigger triangle to its height is x plus y over a. That is equal to the ratio of the base to the height of the smaller right triangle, which is y over h. Let's remember this equation. Next, let's go back to this figure here and let's highlight two similar triangles. Now, let's detach these two similar triangles and let's form the proportions. So we have here the base x plus y over the height b that is equal to the base x over the height h of the smaller triangle. So we have here two equations that we can solve simultaneously, and let's solve this by addition. So we add the left sides of the equations that is equal to the right sides of these two equations. Notice that you have here the same denominator, and therefore we can add the numerators to arrive at x plus y at the right side, all the rest are copied. Notice also that you have here x plus y, x plus y, 
and another x plus y. So if we multiply both sides of the equation by 1 over x plus y, then distributing this factor to each of the terms, we arrive at 1 over a plus 1 over b equals 1 over h. Then let's simplify this. For those who are familiar with this form, this is the form of a harmonic mean. 1 over h is 1 half the harmonic mean of a and b. Now simplifying this equation, we arrive at a least common denominator of AB. So AB divided by A is B times 1 is B. AB divided by B is A times 1 is A. Copy the right side. Then by commutative property, B plus A is just the same as A plus B. Now since we are solving for H, let's get the reciprocal of the left and the right side of this equation. And we now have H equals the product of A and B over the sum of A and B which is now the formula that we used when we solved the given problem. And so applying now this formula to solve our problem, since A is given to be 5 and B is given to be 3, then H is now equal to the product of 5 and 3 to get 15 over the sum of 5 and 3 to get 8. And so the height of this green line is 1.875 units. So this is the solution for the height of the poles. Now the other question is, how is this related to solving work problems? Let's represent again the work problem visually. Let's say we have these two triangles. Both of them are right triangles. Let's put in the base the length of the entire job. And at the base here also is the length of the entire job. Then we put in the height the number of hours to finish the job. The same explanation for the second triangle here. Another way of representing this is we interchange the labels. We put A here the job in the height, we put B in the base, and the amount of job done in the height. But because multiplication and addition are commutative, it doesn't matter if we interchange these two. But this is the representation that will make it easier for us to connect this with the previous solution. So this is the representation of the work done by A, and this is the representation of the work done by B. If they work together, we can combine them. And if we are going to flip this taller triangle like this. This is now exactly the chart of our previous problem on the two poles. But in our analysis here, this A now represents the number of hours Hector can finish the job. This B now represents the length of time Reagan can finish the job. And this green line with a height of T represents the length of time both Hector and Reagan can finish the job working together. They are doing here the same job. And we now know how to find the height of this green line. From the previous analysis, we know that the height of this green line is equal to the product of the two poles over the sum of the heights of the two poles. So we have AB over A plus B. So applying this now, in order to solve the work problem, we know that Hector can finish the job in five hours working alone. Reagan can finish the job in three hours working alone. Working together, they can finish the job in 15 over eight or one hour and 52.5. So come to think of it, two different types of problems but they are solved using the same solution. And that's the beauty of mathematics. So in our next math challenge, we are going to look for these math connections, two different kinds of problems, but solved using the same mathematical methods. So thank you very much. This is Lando Assistant, and we hope to see you again in our next math challenge. Bye for now.